So this human enhanced greenhouse effect is in essence what's causing global warming and as we've already discussed in the class is what's causing climate change. So as you guys know the natural greenhouse effect has to do with the natural gases like carbon dioxide, um, water vapor, methane in the atmosphere that absorb the long wave radiation that comes from earth and then in turn what they do with that is to re-radiate that radiation in all sorts of different directions including back to earth's surface. So thanks so much everyone for coming today. Uh, I know that it's weird to still be in this remote environment every week, but I really appreciate your time. happiest when I'm moving. For like 10 years I ran marathons on roads. Once I started running on trails, I just loved it so much that you just kind of want to keep going. It just seems like a natural progression for me. I mean it sounds so cliche but you kind of get to learn more about yourself when you're out there. Like you're inevitably going to hit low points and have to claw back from them a little bit. And that's truer and truer the longer you go I think you go to that sort of negative headspace, then it's really hard to come back from that. I think that's part of the attraction a little bit though, is it's problem solving. Obviously the environment is one big problem right now. I've been teaching about climate change for 13 years. It's become more and more sort of a dire situation. And I have to get up there and teach students this science and then look them in the eye and answer them when they ask me if there's hope. When I go out for a run, it reminds me why this is so important. The simple movement of my own feet, hearing my own breath, it just brings me back. You know, I'm not going to stop doing it just because it's getting difficult. You have to experience it for yourself to care about it. There are so many people who live disconnected from the environment. They might not realize how important it is to them. But everyone can understand how they feel better when they are in a park in the city or even just having a tree outside their window. You know, everyone on some level understands that connection. And I think it's part of my job at teaching these courses is to sort of dig into those connections and really pull them out of people and make them kind of remember that.